but I will sing of your strength. In the morning I will sing of your love, for you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. You are my strength. I sing praise to you. You, God, are my fortress, my God on whom I can rely. I love this time of September when we are preparing our home for summer to collapse into autumn. The little house seems to get dirtier in the summer here than it does over the winter. And so this is the time for me to begin some of the indoor projects, get into the corners and get things nice and clean, get the wood stove up to snuff and do some weather proofing of the house. It's time to stack wood and chop it for the fireplace and to make sure that the chickens have all they need to be cozy this winter. And for me, it's also time to bring some rustic decorations that have more of that fall feel into the house. I really like things that feel natural and rustic and just bring that feeling of the woods inside the house. The original part of our house was a 1950s summer cottage and over the years, some of those cottage features got neglected. And so what I've been doing since we moved in is slowly as we're able to begin to restore some of the character that was lost over the years to the home. I have this thing about old spaces and not changing them too much, but rather bringing out the character of all that they were intended to be. And so right now I'm working on some of the windows and we don't have the budget to restore them in the exact way that I would want. And so I'm just cleaning up the older windows in the house. And I was able to find a vintage style window film to put over the top of one of our double hung windows that's cloudy and needs restoration. And so in the meantime, this was a great fix and it's beautiful, it allows in filtered light and it casts a beautiful shadow on the floor. I got a lot of our cozy blankets nice and clean and the doggy sweaters laundered. And I just truly enjoy this process of tucking the little house into bed for the cooler months.
The little house was fairly bursting with good food stored away for the long winter. The pantry and the shed and the cellar were full, and so was the attic. The attic was a lovely place to play. The large, round, colored pumpkins made beautiful chairs and tables. The red peppers and the onions dangled overhead. The venison hung in their paper wrappings and all the bunches of dried herbs, the spicy herbs for cooking, and the bitter herbs for medicine gave the place a dusty, spicy smell. Often the wind howled outside with a cold and lonesome sound. But in the attic, Laura and Mary played house with the squashes and the pumpkins, and everything was snug and cozy. Well, friends, thank you so much, as always, for coming back to our little house in the mountain and choosing to take some of your time to stop by today. If you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe and stick around so that we can visit again. If you enjoyed this video, we would so appreciate you liking it and letting us know what you think in the comments below. We love and appreciate you, and Lord willing, I will see each and every one of you right here on the next one. Stay cozy. Bye, friends.